Alright, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the new tool I've added to uh, D-Tools. You have to scroll down. I need to fix that. I don't know if I ever will. Um, but the keybind is L, so if you want to uh, quickly get to it, you go on your keyboard, or you can scroll down and click on the and click on it. So let's go over it. So this is unioning and negating. And those, the basics of unioning is it merges parts together. But if you merge negated parts while making a union, then it creates a hole in the union. So here, let me demonstrate that. So you can drag on all these. The yellow part is the one that it will be union to. So like, uh, for example, it will be union to that part. But in this case, I want it to be union to this part. So I make this one yellow. And I create the union. Oops. Ooh. Don't union or union. That's just a pro tip. Nope, and it doesn't appear like it wants to undo itself. Oh well. That sucks. I'll just copy that and uh, demonstrate it with these instead. You, sometimes you have to be patient, but there you go, there's your union. You can also undo the union using Shift Z or using the undo button, and you can redo it as well. There you go, there's your union. So, having the uh, primary part selected comes in handy when you're actually using the gated parts. So, if I select these two parts and I make them negated, you'll see that they become transparent, like semi-transparent. And then make sure this is yellow, and as you can see, it creates a hole in them. And I can undo that. I can also undo the uh, negating. But let's say I uh, union this to this one, then it will turn out like this. Kind of weird, right? So you have to make sure that you have the right one selected, and then you union it. And here's an example of using them combined. So as you can see, that will that's not supposed to. <laughs> so in this case, it accidentally left this part here. I'm not sure why it created this part. That's quite interesting. But you can just drag that out. If that ever happens, if it ever creates a random part for whatever reason, you can just drag that out and delete it. But as you can see, with this one, it created a hole and also attach this to it. Now you can move that as one part. And uh, no, this isn't, as you can see, this isn't a model. It's actually a union. That's what they're called. And this is a union, as you can see. So yeah, that's what that is. And uh, here's some information on you if you want it. Oh yeah, warning, this will remove all children, scripts, parts, etc. unless if you undo. So, uh, that's not a really big issue, and you shouldn't have to worry about that in Pembroke Pines just because there is no parts with scripts under it. There's maybe like one or two, but you'll likely never encounter an issue with it, so you'll be fine. But yeah, there you go. But if you're doing something like merging traffic lights together, that, that won't work because it will delete all the uh, children of the traffic light, which is needed for the traffic lights within Pembroke Pines. So, there you go. Anyways, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this, and yeah, that's how you use the tool. Peace out.